गाइस वेलकम टू मोटर ऑप्टीन आज हम आए हैं एट द लॉन्च ऑफ पोर्शे कैन खोपे तो हमारे साथ है पवन शेट्टी हु हेड्स पोर्शे पवन वेलकम टू आवर शो थैंक यू रचन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन जो है काफी यू नो कंफ्यूजन रहता है लोगों के पास इट्स अ जर्मन ब्रांड पर हिंदी में उसे कैसे प्रोनाउंस करेंगे या राधा उसका करेक्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन क्या है पोर्शे पोर्शे क्योंकि काफी लोग पोर्श पोर्शा सो पोर्शे इज द करेक्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन अब बढ़ते हैं टुवर्ड्स द क्वेश्चंस आई एम ग्लैड फर्स्ट थिंग बिफोर एनीथिंग कांग्रेचुलेशंस ऑन द कार थैंक यू रेड लावा ऑरेंज जो लाए हो दैट वाज द कार जो मुझे बहुत पसंद आई थी एंड आई एम ग्लैड टू सी दिस कार इन इंडिया सो ग्रेट जॉब फॉर द टीम एंड द प्राइसिंग इज बैंग ऑन जिनको प्राइसिंग नहीं पता इट्स 1.31 सीआर एक्स शोरूम फॉर द बेस मॉडल नॉट द बेस मॉडल वी6 इंजन एंड द वी8 टर्बो इज 1.97 सीआर so starting with the first question i'm not going to make it too complicated but aapke yahan suv is zyada hote hain for sure uh, and <coughs> diesel is of course the main engine that sells in suvs so globally there's been a say from porsche that there'll be no pet uh, diesels to kya indian market mein has it hit you anywhere so i <coughs> the answer is no because If you look at what do you expect from a Porsche, when you when you ask what what do you think when you think of Porsche, the first answer is sports car. Correct. And when you think of sports car, you do not think is it petrol, diesel, electric, hybrid. That's immaterial. I think what you really expect is a great driving pleasure, uh, a go- great character to the car, and that's important. And that's true for all our models. Yeah. So diesel was a derivative which was there, and now it's not there, but I don't think uh, that's that's what Porsche is known for. And if you look at the global portfolio, it was only accounting for twelve percent of the total okay. sales. And uh, now it's not there, but globally we're still growing, and and that's more important. So, its meaning is that that petrol diesel doesn't affect much. So, does electric will also be something similar in that case? So, I think let's look at it from a technology sp- standpoint. I think electric, uh, when you talk. it's more futuristic and if you have seen the taycan now uh, uh, be it the the instrument cluster or the infotainment system or the co passenger screen it gives you a very futuristic design on top of that when you really drive that car uh, the kind of acceleration you get and the kind of uh, feeling you get with the car is fantastic and that's just one side of the story it's a two ton car which doesn't behave like a two ton car you're driving it the agility and the drive is comparable to a 911 And, and I think when you say 911, it's epitome of really driving dynamics, and that's true for also uh, Taycan. <clears throat> and f- from that perspective, I think the way our customers will look at it is they will be very excited to see how a Porsche electric sports car behaves. And I think that would be the test of the car. And we are very confident uh, with the initial responses that the journalists have given. Uh, the reviews, I think, are extremely positive. So. Uh- There is always a thing in India that electrics don't work. Now luxury, man. Of course, that price point ka issue nahi rahega. But do people you think ya jo bhi initial customer feedback you'd have got of people who'd have seen the car? Ke electric is it really for India now? So uh, depends. India is not a very homogeneous market. There are multiple segments at different price points, and if you see uh, how luxury has behaved even in the past. luxury is the first set of customers who are completely open to new technology as basic as automatic transmission yeah even back in 2004 2006 when automatic transmission was introduced it was completely absorbed very well in luxury but mass was still on stick shift this gives you insight on the mindset or consumer insight on what are the priorities in a luxury customers uh, in a mind and what are the priorities in a mass customers mind and when you introduce introduce uh, taycan which is completely under in, in a super luxury sports car space i think the uptake would be much better than in mass how do we know that because since the time we've been talking about taycan uh, we had so many questions interest uh, uh, even somebody want people wanting to put down bookings for that car and this was very positive yeah and this also gives us a feeling that the car has very bright chances of being successful in india So, uh, last question. Now, if you look at Porsche in the Volkswagen group, uh, 
कंपेरेटिवली एक छोटा ब्रांड है इन दैट बिग ओशन तो देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स वेर यू नो थिंग्स आर मेड फॉर द ग्रुप और वो प्रोसेस पोशा में भी आ जाता है विच मे बी एज अ स्मॉल सेट ऑफ पीपल और टीम माइट नॉट बी सूटेबल कुछ ऐसा रहा है वेर यू हैव गॉट स्टार्ट विद दैट नो एक्चुअली सी ऑल द ब्रांड्स इन द ग्रुप हैव अ रोल टू प्ले एंड देर आर मास्क आर ब्रांड्स आर प्रीमियम ब्रांड्स एंड देर लग्जरी ब्रांड्स एंड नीच लग्जरी ब्रांड्स so as posha being a sports luxury brand we we have complete individuality and identity of the way the business has to be run obviously the, it's run as per the group guidelines but also uh, the brand has full autonomy to decide its own course of business i'm glad you spent some time hamare sath i'm very happy uh, that's all we have for today thank you thank you so much so nice to talk to you raj as always yep thanks thank you so that's all we have for today um If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. कुछ भी सवाल हो about the Porsche, we have already done a review for you guys. So अगर आपने वो नहीं देखा है, go and check it out in the i button. See you guys. Bye.